let me show you how to use and take full advantage of the element fill in the blanks on your form. So let me show you how right now. Welcome to job form. My name is George and I'm going to show you how to use the element fill in the blanks, which is super useful for several reasons. And I'm going to show you how to take full advantage of it in this video. So I'm in my job form panel and we're going to get started. So it's going to create form and in form, we're going to start from scratch, but you can use a template, use import form or create a signable document. So let's use start from scratch. We can use classic form. And on our left, we're going to find the form elements. So let's click on the plus button and we're going to find fill in the blank. So let's go ahead and add this right here. Now, by default, it's going to add two blank spaces and you can use this for several reasons. One of them would be to have a more compact form. So if you want to ask for the phone, the name, the email, etc., we can all do it from this particular element instead of adding each one of these. I'll show you that in a bit. And let's get started with the first element. So let's go into the properties and we're going to go into fields and we're going to find two of these fields. One is tied with number one and two is with two. And if you add more, it's going to be tied to the number that is designated there. Now we're going to get started with modifying this particular element. So the first field right here, we're going to use it for the name. So we're going to say provide your name and then we're going to go into properties and we're going to go into fields and you're going to see that field one is tied with number one, two is with two. And if we add more fields, they're going to be tied by number. OK, so the first one, we're going to go into the properties and we're going to change the sub label, which says right here blanks. We're going to change it to name so they know what they need to fill in there. We can add a default value. Now, that will depend what you want to use this field for, but it could have some filled out previously. So that means that if someone goes to this form to fill it out, it will already have some data. Now, it might be used for four certain reasons. OK, we can make this required or not. That means that if it's required, they cannot submit the form if they don't fill out this particular field. OK, then we have the validation option. Since this is not a designated field, which I'll show you in a bit, we have the option to validate it. Now, in this case, we are asking for the name. So in the name, we don't want numbers. We don't want slashes. We don't want hashtags, etc. We want to use only alphabetic. OK, so we're validating it. OK. Then we have the entry limits. So in this case, we can set a minimum and maximum. So that means the name must have a minimum of two characters and maximum 20, for example. Okay. Then we are ready for this one. Next, we have another element here. So in this case, let me go ahead and remove this. And we're going to ask for the phone number. Please add your phone number. In this case, we're going to get rid of this element. Okay. And we're going to add one of the elements that are available right here. So we're going to add phone number. And since it knows it's a phone number, it automatically added the area code and the phone number field. Now, be aware that when we have these fields, let me go into the settings again. We have fewer options because it's already validating it's, it's a phone number. We don't have to set anything up. We don't have to change the minimum and ma maximum characters because it's already set for this particular field, which is pretty useful, right? Now, let's ask for the email. And we're going to add one of the fields that are available already. So here's the email. There we go. Let's go ahead and preview this form. You can see we have a nice compact form where you can fill out the name, the area code, phone number and the email in a really tiny section, all with one single element that we've added the fill in the blank. Now, imagine we add, for example, all these elements that we're just asking right now. So we're asking for the name, the phone and the email. See how much space that takes. Now that might not be required. Sure, we can shorten this to make it a little bit more compact, but it's much more compact when we use fill in the blank. So see these three elements right here. It's the same data that we're asking right here. So it's really useful in that case. Now we can do a whole lot more with this element. Once you've tied all the elements, we have the option to modify this to actually beautify it. OK, so we want to change the font. We have the option to select this little letter here with the underline here, and we can change the font for this particular section that I've highlighted. Or how about we make bold right here? There we go. How about we make this section red, for example? And I'm just giving you ideas of what you can do. OK, or how about we add more data to this section? We add some bullet points, for example. Fill this form. I can say test. Test two and add some data here, make something really interesting that might be useful. And how about we add an image in the beginning? OK, so let's select right here, add an image. 
and you can upload your own image. But in this case, I'll use my images and I'll select this one. Go ahead and use it. Let me get rid of this element so you can see how nice it's going to look. Let's go into preview form. Now, like I said, I'm just running some tests right here, but we have a nice looking image. We have the data here to fill in the name. So, for example, Jorge. Jorge Aguilar, and then we have the area code is one, two, three, and then the phone number and then the email. Here we go and we can submit it. So it's super useful in that case. Now we can do a whole lot more with this. Let me go ahead and get rid of this element again. I'm going to add some basic elements to show you an idea that you can use this for. For example, again, phone number, the email, and again, we're going to add fill in the blank. So instead of using these fields, we have the option to use the fields from, from the top. Now, for example, if I click on this icon here, I can use form fields. So that means that fields that I have available on the top, I can use them right here. So for example, if I wanted to pre-populate the name, I can do so here. So that means that if I say, for example, name, and it's going to add the name there. Okay. Let's ask for the phone number email all right so phone number and let's add that form field right here phone number and for the email we're gonna add it there now what we can do also is actually hide this element so it's not viewable for the person who's gonna fill it out and we can have this data sent out to us for example for email purposes for automations or for other purposes and it's gonna auto fill with this data but we're gonna have a more compact view with our use case okay so let's go into properties advanced and i can hide this field that means that it's not going to be visible for the person who's going to fill it out. See how it's empty. But if I fill this out with my name, my email, my phone number and, and all the data, it's going to automatically fill it into that element. So it might be useful for certain reasons. Now on my email that I'm receiving for my notifications or maybe for an automation or for other things that I might use it for, I can go ahead and just send out that data to me. Okay. And that might be useful for some certain reason. Let's go into settings. For example, the emails, notifications. In this case, we can go ahead and rid of all of these elements and just keep the input for, which is where I have all the data already added there. So like I said, different use cases for different situations. OK, but we can go ahead and just keep it visible for different type of reasons. And we can use this in combination with fields like I mentioned before. So if I need to add a field that is possible. And that's how you're going to use the fill in the blank element here on job form. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this element. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification so it notifies you when new videos come out. And it's a wrap.